Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial we are going to make something like this, an iPhone wallpaper. So we will be using few add-ons and this lighting setup. So let's see uh, what we are going to make. So we can see that there is our two iPhones and this is our lighting setup. and we are going to use this crane rig for the animation and this cube shaped or you can use cylinder so let's dive into the tutorials so I will be using a blender version 3.6 and we can delete this just press X and delete so let's save this file at first i'm going to save it here iphone wallpaper save the blender file so now i'm going to be use i'm going to use add-on named blender kit and it is completely free just search on google blender kit and you will find the add-on so let's type iphone here we won't, we won't be making the iphone i'm just going to be pick from here and if you don't see this window then you can just click this i drop i button so let's select an iphone this is iphone 15 so let's select that and here is our iphone so we need two iphones so we can copy this and shift D to duplicate it so I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to keep it in the X direction now let's add a cylinder a big cylinder we don't need this much height so I'm going to shrink it down a bit and we can close this window and now we can see our two iPhones I'm going to keep them in the center just so just select this empty and I'm going to press G and Y to make it in the center and now I can align them so now I can rotate them in the X direction and we can actually add a camera so I'm going to use crane camera rig and if you don't see this camera icon here crane rig then you have to first enable it so go to preference and under add-ons search for camera you can see that camera add rigs add camera rig so let's turn that on and you'll see this cameras here so i'm going to use this one and this one is a bit larger so i'm going to keep it a bit small and let's increase the size of our cylinder so select s 
press S and just yeah and now we can select our camera and in the y direction we can keep it something like here and if i hit zero i can see this is in the center so now let's shade smooth our cylinder and you can see that it looks like this so to fix that just go hit this object data properties and under here you can see normals so let's just hit auto smooth it will fix for us and now if i hit render before that from ev go to cycles and from cpu if you have any gpu graphics card then select that or else you can use cpu so now you can hit render but you won't see anything because we don't have any light source so instead of this point light I'm going to use another lighting setup and that is uh, you can go here and you can purchase this pro lighting studio and you will get many lighting setup so you can select these two object and enable now let's hit render and you can see it looks like this now our phone looks a bit dull so to fix that we can do another thing press r then z to rotate so now let's rotate these two okay before that you can just hit individual origins here under this icon so now if i rotate you can see okay let's go to solid view so now if i rotate you can see they are moving individually see so you can again press zero on the numpad and i'm going to R then Y and let's bring them a bit closer so that's it now let's see how it looks and to hide everything in the viewport you can just select this show overlays it will hide and unhide so we can change our lighting setup so for that you can try different lighting setup actually and whatever actually looks good maybe in the previous one i used this let's see yeah something like this so 
we can change the position of our camera so let's select that and we can bring it a bit closer let's go to our camera So we can change the position of this. Let's see. We can bring it a bit closer actually. This looks nice. And now we can add a empty circle let's rotate that in the x direction and we can decrease its size and now we can add constraints so we can this follow path and let's actually let's not add an empty we can use carve and let's decrease the size of it a bit and make it a bit down here so now let's add constraints follow path and hit our bezier circle and instead of y you can use x so you can see it's moving but not in the right direction so we can do one thing let's delete this camera rig and camera add a new camera rig and now here we can add a constraint follow path and hit this bezier curve decrease the size and now we can use another constraints in our camera rig so that is locked 
track and we can select our any object let's select actually we can select something in the middle so I'm going to add a empty empty plane axis and now go to this camera rig and locked track constraint and hit this empty now if we change our offset we can see our camera is moving in the circular direction so we can animate this so to animate this one we can just add keyframes here to add keyframes we can add sorry we can just hit i here and then at the end we can hit i again okay so I forgot to change the offset we can just let's make it 360 degree or maybe 400 So now let's see how it looks. Sorry, I forgot to hit I. So let's hit I. So now you can see our camera is moving, but it looks a bit fast. So we can see that it's increasing speed gradually, then it's decreasing gradually again we don't need want that so we can just copy I mean select these two keyframes and hit T and here you can see that there is this interpolation linear let's select that so now if we can see it's in the constant speed rotating in the cons constant st speed so we can change this to 300 and hit i and now if i rotate this let's see how it looks so we can actually go to material preview I think the speed is actually okay so and it's looping in perfect sync we can actually decrease the keyframes so instead of 250 we can make it 50 and we can just change this one so just select this keyframe and now let's see how it looks it's a bit way too faster so to fix that we can decrease our 
200 maybe and now let's see how it looks still a bit faster so to fix that sorry we can increase our end keyframe to 80 so now let's see how it looks yeah now it looks fine so I'm going to render an image at first you can change the lighting setup to something else also so we can do that we can use this one or we can do no not this one i think this one looks best so i'm going to change the max sample count for our render to around maybe 300 and i'm going to go here render and render image so let's see how it looks yeah it's rendering and it looks fine so that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed it try making something like this and let's see our final result it's getting clearer and clearer so I'm just going to pause the video and wait for the result so this is our final render you can actually increase the sample count to around maybe 500 so then it will look perfect so i think we can actually change the height of our camera so we can just change the height of this bezier curve and it will look perfect around here i think is fine or you can scale it or you can just keep it like that so that's it this is our rendered image so thank you for watching the video and please subscribe to my channel and i will make more videos in the future thank you